in my last video I talked about how I was so fed up with my leg splints um I am fed up with them I am fed up with being a weirdo I am so fed up with it I try to be happy I try to be okay with it but I'm not I'm not happy with not walking normally I'm not happy having this weird leg that I'm always walking up on the tiptoe to compensate for something that's wrong with it. And honestly, my ankle is fried. Like the tendons in my ankle are so sore. The, the ones that connect your foot to your calf muscle, the posterior tibial tendon and the Achilles tendons, those get very, very painful. And I have a few toes and metatarsals that are hurt a lot. And of course they would, I'm constantly pounding around on my metatarsals and my toes, they hurt. Um, if you took an MRI of my left foot, who knows what you're going to find? Because <laughs> you're not meant to do that. So it's like dancing every day, all day, and never coming off your toes. So I keep pounding around. So when I put my heel down, my leg pretty much collapses. It buckles, it hyperextends, and this kitty is cute. Look at the kitty. Everybody say hi to the kitty to spill it. You think cute? You're my baby. Okay, so that's what's going on. So I wear the brace and the brace isn't enough. So I put in half inch heel lift. So the brace keeps my knee from buckling and the, he, the heel lift keeps it from hyperextending. So it does both. So, and it also keeps me off my toe. So I'm not constantly pounding on my metatarsals. So it, my foot gets break for a while and I can walk with a leg. I have a leg to walk with and not just a foot. So my right leg's doing well, it's stronger. I still try to do weird things with my foot because I guess that's a dancing thing. You're always doing things with your feet. Um, so when I walk on my right leg, I can walk pretty normally, but um, yeah. And I've been trying to go without a brace on that leg once in a blue moon. Like if I go to the store and I'm, I, need, I need to drive to the store, I'm just running in and out. I don't always want to put the brace in just to run into the store and run out. Um, if like a quick trip to the store, like going in to get cat food and I always know what brand of cat food I need. So I just go in and out and then um, I will um, just, you know, not put the brace on and I'll just go in my normal shoe. So, but the problem with the normal shoe is that it's too big for my foot because it's my brace shoe. So then I do walk a little, it can get fun funky. Uh, so I bought two pairs of shoes today. Uh, I have little shoes and big shoes. So it's really hard for me to find shoes that fit because now that my feet are, my, are in better alignment and I'm walking with my heel down, my feet are surprisingly smaller than I thought they were. So these are sevens. I could have found a six and a half, but they didn't have six and a half, so I bought a seven. I got these at five below because I need two pairs of shoes. So um, I might as well get cheap ones and I beat shoes up pretty fast because the AFOs will beat your shoes up. The straps will wear into the shoes and you won't have a shoe anymore. And even without the braces on, I do kill shoes because I walk on my toes. There's not going to be anything left to the shoes. It's like ballet shoes. I beat them up. So I feel like if the braces help me, I probably should wear them. And it's like my prism glasses. If they're helping me, I should be wearing them I really shouldn't be like so upset about what people think about me I shouldn't be like so embarrassed about the braces um I'm not embarrassed about my glasses nobody ever said anything nasty about my glasses they don't say oh four eyes why don't you just take your glasses off why don't you just go see? Be able to see. People just, last summer when I was 
working at that assisted living place. They just said, take your braces off and can you walk without them? And it, I just fell apart because that left leg and my back got so jammed and uh, um, that was rude. That was just, I don't know why anyone would do that. That's just mean. Like, if you wear your braces to work, the other staff will think you're less able. That is just rude. And I really don't want to deal with that. And I have had no help dealing with my my issues, my my weird abilities, or my physical weirdness. I don't know if I would call it a disability. I don't know if I would call it physical. I keep calling it differently abled because I don't know. I do weird things with my toes. That is different. I'm a sighted person who can read and write braille and I make braille bible blankets. That is definitely different. But I I don't know what to consider myself as because I don't have a handicap placard for my car. No, I don't want one because I want to walk. I want to I want to push myself to the best I can be. I don't want any money from the government saying you're a disabled person. You can't work because I want to work. I mean, I run my own Etsy shop. I crochet Braille Bible blankets. I, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm, if I have to keep crocheting till my arms fall, fall off, I'm going to keep crocheting till my arms fall off. Hi, baby. Is it my kitty cat? Oh, he makes me happy. So, if, if I have to be this weird girl with special eyeglasses and special leg braces, then I'm just going to be the weird girl. Because if that helps me. Um, my uh, orthopedic doctor told me because my knee buckles, I could try a knee brace. So I have a knee brace. It's hot pink. It matches the AFOs. He said that might help with the hyperextension, but, um, it, but then when I'm not hyperextending, my knee buckles. So I tried the knee brace. It's just a little compression thing. Oh my goodness. I can walk, but that leg is just a kickstand. I can't put a lot of weight on it. And it just like, it's just a kickstand. I, I can't really do anything. And when I try to put weight on that leg, I just fall over. So no, the knee brace is not really helping. No. If I wear the knee brace, then I, I brace, I put a brace on my right leg and the knee brace on the left leg with the heel lift. And I, I have to rely on that right leg to haul me around. I, I can't go with just the knee brace. I need that left leg like really supported because I, I will fall. I will, that leg will buckle. I, I just can't. And I don't want to be up on my tiptoe all the time. So I keep trying all this stuff. And the only thing that has been helping me is the, is the AFO leg brace with the heel lift. So if that's what I have to do, that's what I have to do. I have to be okay with this. I have to be okay with how I am and how I've been for like, the past bazillion years. I noticed something was off about me when I was like 12, 13 years old in dance, when I'm dancing, that something was wrong with that leg. And I don't know, it just, I have to be okay with this. Um, I used to think my leg was shorter. It's it's not short, it's, it's the same length, but because of the deficient muscles, um, or whatever's going on, it seems short, and my, my my hips are uneven. My pelvis tilts. Uh, some doctors said I had a curve in my back, but I don't. So, um, yeah, I really really have to be okay with this. I've had no help. I've been trying to research stuff on the internet. I I don't know what's going on with me, and. I just really, really have to be okay with this. I, ha I have to just embrace myself the, the way I am, who I am. It's, it's been hard. It's been so hard this year. So, yeah. I have
have to be okay with it. It's hard. Oh, you guys should, should check out my Etsy shop. Knit Witty Crafts. I sell Braille Bible blankets. I make them myself. And you guys should definitely check it out. Order a blanket. Okay. Link in the description box below. And please support me as this is like so hard for me to get through. Like this whole physical weirdness thing that I'm dealing with. It's, it's just hard. And say hi to the kitty. Say hi to the kitty. So cute. And now he goes away. Okay, bye guys.